In this video, we're going to look at some aspects of graphing quadratic functions. In the general form, a quadratic function looks like y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Students readily recognize in that general form that the a value, the leading coefficient on x squared, tells whether this parabola they also recognize that a quadratic function graphs as a parabola, that the parabola is going to be opening up if A is positive and opening down if A is negative. Furthermore, they recognize that the C value is the y-intercept. Of course, if X is 0, then the y value is going to be C, and therefore where the parabola crosses the y-axis. Students are often asked to take a, an equation that happens to be in the general form, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, and convert it to the vertex form. This is done by completing the square to get y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h quantity squared. Now notice that that's a minus h plus k. And when it's in that form, then again, the A value tells us whether we're opening up or opening down. And the HK point is the vertex of the parabola. Let, let's go back to this for just a minute and, and look at a function in that particular form. So we're, we're looking at a function in the form f of x is equal to A times x minus h quantity squared plus k. If x is 1 and h and k are both 0, then of course we get the uh, a function of the form f of x is equal to x squared, a well-known uh, simple parabola with the vertex at 0, 0. If that a value is increased, so you notice that the a value is getting larger, then the parabola kind of gets skinnier or sharper in a sense. If we we drop below a value of 1, the parabola begins to spread out, spread out, until we finally get to an a value of 0 at that particular point, then we just get a constant. It's not a parabola anymore, but then as we begin to looking at negative a values, that opens down if the negative a gets larger negative, then it becomes a sharper and sharper. Uh, parabola. Let's look at some effects of these other sliders. You'll notice here we've got the equation that we're seeing. If, if h becomes some positive amount, then we'll have x minus that positive h value quantity squared, and it slides the, the entire graph to the right. If we look at negative h values, then the function looks like x plus uh, that value, because it's x minus that negative value, quantity squared, and that slides to the left. And finally, the uh, k value, if it's positive, it lifts the function up. If it's negative, it lifts the function down. So there we're looking at all of those. The, this particular form is a very nice form, the vertex form. It tells us a great deal of how the parabola has been slid over and up and how it's been opened or flipped to go downward. Okay, um, the, but in general form there are still three very easy points to find uh, that are on the parabola and very powerful points. Here's the idea. We can easily find where the y-intercept is. Once we know where that y-intercept is, we can the, the value of the y-intercept, we look for all the points that have the same value, the same y-value as the y-intercept. Now let's look at a specific example to illustrate this. If y is equal to 3x squared plus 12x minus 5, then immediately we know this is an opening up parabola because the a-value is positive. We know that 0 minus 5 is the point where the y-intercept is. And we can ask the question, are there any other times when the y value is negative 5? So there we are substituting a negative 5 into the general form of the equation. So we replaced y with a negative 5. As you solve that equation, you get this because you add a 5 to both sides of the equation. That 
quadratic equation always factors easily because there will always be an x that factors out. In this particular case, 3x would factor out. And we get two solutions, two x values, where the y value is a negative 5. We get x is equal to 0, the one that we already knew. If x is 0, then y is a negative 5. And we discover this other point, if x is a negative 4, then y is going to be a negative 5. So now we've got those two points. So what do we know at this point? In, in the, this, this quadratic equation, graphs is a parabola, so it's symmetrical, and it has these two points that are at the same height. One is the y-intercept and another one that happens to be the same height. The, because of those facts, the vertex has to be halfway between this x value and this x value. So in this case, the vertex has to occur at an x value of a negative 2. So the vertex is, in fact, a negative 2. The function evaluated at a negative 2. Check that out, and you get a negative 2 minus 17. Now there is a special case. In the event that the b value is 0, then the vertex and the y-intercept are the same point. Uh, so consider the more general case where y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. The y-intercept is at 0, c. That's easy to see. Um, the other point that has a, a y-value equal to the y-intercept can be found by solving this equation which leads to this equation, which always factors because an x will factor out. And we can therefore find two points that are on the curve, 0, c, and minus b over a, c, are two points on the parabola that have the same height. Therefore, the x value of the vertex has to be halfway between those two x values. Or in other words, x has to be a minus b over 2a. That's a well-known important fact about parabolas, and we just proved it. Okay, that's the end.